Hi, um, I am reading you one of my favorite picture books and the two reasons that it's one of my favorites is it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the paintings are by uh, Mike Wimmer and they are just gorgeous. Um, the author is Patricia McLaughlin and she is a wonderful author who writes for young adults usually, elementary and young adult. Um, and it is called All the Places to Love and um, so I just want you to think of, as I'm reading it, well, listen, obviously, as I'm reading it, but then think about all the places that you love that are special to just you, maybe if nobody else knows what they are. On the day I was born, my grandmother wrapped me up in a blanket made from the wool of her sheep. She held me up in the open window so that what I first heard was the wind. What I first saw were all the places to love, the valley, the river falling down over rocks, the hilltop where the blueberries grew. My grandfather was painting the barn and when he saw me, he cried. He carved my name, Eli, on a rafter beside his name and grandmother's name and the names of my mama and papa. Mama carried me on her shoulders before I could walk, through the meadows and hayfields. The cows watched us and the sheep scattered. The dogs ran ahead, holding back with sly smiles. When the grass was high, only their tails showed. I also want you to notice figurative language, which is um, metaphors and similes and um, where you say something is like, there's a lot of beautiful similes in this book. When I was older, Papa and I plowed the fields. Where else is soil so sweet, he said. Once Papa and I laid down in the fields, holding hands, and the birds surrounded us, raucous black grackles, red wings, crows in the dirt that swaggered like pirates. That was a simile. When we left, Papa put a handful of dirt in his pocket. I did too. My grandmother loved the river best of all the places to love. That sound like a whisper, she said, gathering in pools where trout flashed like jewels in the sunlight. Grandmother sailed little bark boats down river to me with messages. I love you, Eli, one said. We jumped from rock to rock to rock across the river to where the woods began, where bunchberry grew under the pine needle path and trillium bloomed. Under the beech tree was a soft rounded bed where a deer had slept. The bed was warm when I touched it. When spring rains came and the meadow turned to marsh, cattails stood like guards and killed deers called Kildeers is a type of insect. Ducks nested by marsh marigolds, and the old turtle, his shell all worn, no matter how slow, still surprised me. Sometimes we climbed to the place Mama loved best, with our blueberry buckets and a chair for my grandmother, to the blueberry barren where no trees grew, the sky an arm's length away where marsh hawks skimmed over the land and bears came to eat fruit and wild turkeys left footprints for us to find like messages. Where else, said my mama, can I see the sunrise on one side and the sunset on the other? But there's the blueberries, there's the beautiful painting. My grandfather's barn is sweet smelling and dark and cool. Leather harnesses hang like paintings against old wood and hay dust floats like gold in the air. Grandfather once lived in the city and once he lived by the sea, but the barn is the place he loves most. Where else, he says, can the soft sound of cows chewing make all the difference in the world? Today we wait 
him sitting on a wooden slat chair and me on the hay. Until much later, my grandmother holds up a small bundle in the open window, wrapped in a blanket made from the wool of her sheep, and my grandfather cries. Together, we carve the name Sylvie in the rafter beside the names of grandmother and grandfather and my mama and papa and me. My sister is born. And here's a close up of the rafter. Someday I might live in the city. Someday I might live by the sea, but soon I will carry Sylvie on my shoulders through the fields I will send her messages downriver in small boats, and I will watch her at the top of the hill, trying to touch the sky. I will show her my favorite place, the marsh, where ducklings follow their mother like tiny tumbles of leaves. Isn't that beautiful? All the places to love are here, I'll tell her, no matter where you may live. Where else, I will say, does an old turtle crossing the path make all the difference in the world? Thanks for spending some time with me. Have a great week.